It is 4.10 in the morning here on a Friday in Boulder, Colorado. I got everything packed up now and then I'm going to drive about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes down to Colorado Springs to meet Alcana Quebec. Good morning, we're here in Colorado Springs with A6 Pro, Elkana Cabet, member of Team USA, getting ready to head out to Budapest for Worlds. Elkana, good morning, how are you feeling today? Good morning, I'm feeling good. Uh, how is everyone doing? Um, this is Colorado, this is where I do my runs mostly. I run from my house, do my run, but today I had to come here to the trail, Santa Fe Trail. It's a beautiful morning, it has some trees, it's really cool and it's about 60 degrees. I'm, nothing can beat that in Colorado. All right, well, let's get started and let's get going for the run. So what is the altitude here in Colorado Springs? Ah, uh, it's about 62, 58, okay. 200. So, all right, I was Depends just... Depends on where you are. Yeah. So up where I live is about 65 to 67. Okay, all right. Did that take you a long time to get used to living at this altitude? Not really. The okay. first time I came to Colorado was 2016. Okay. And uh, so I PCS here from North Carolina. So the, because I had been in a sea level for a very long time, that took a little bit uh, to adjust. But I just came back from deployment. I was in Europe for nine months and I just came here and I just adjusted very quickly. Oh, okay. So I didn't have any issues. So the body that. remembers maybe? Yes. Oh, that's convenient. That's nice. I have a very hard time with altitude. Yeah. I live at about 600 feet. So every time I come to Colorado, it's a little bit of a shock to my system. Yeah. And another thing also is I was born in altitude, like 9,000 feet. Oh, yeah. Back in Kenya. So it's higher elevation than even here. So yeah. So this is low for you. This is low. Yeah. So can I see her in the super blast today? Yes. Has that been a shoe you've relied on a lot during this training My block? Goodness. Once I found it. Oh yeah? I've never left it. Okay. This is everything that I use all the time. Oh really? When I order my new shoes, this is the only thing I order. Oh okay. I work with it, especially if I'm going somewhere. I just wait. I don't get tired because you recover quickly. Yeah. And less impact to the ground. So this is everything that I used. Okay. Especially when I was in deployment, it really helped me because everywhere I was running is pavement. Yeah. So that really helped a lot. Okay. Yeah. And then what about for race day in Budapest? Uh, I'm gonna use Sky Plus. And is that what you ran with last year in Eugene? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and that was my first time to use Hesic shoots. Okay. So this is gonna be really good this time now. I saw you very briefly in Atlanta for Peachtree Road Race. Good luck, Alcana. How was that for you? Ah, it was good. I just, I was starting my marathon training. Okay. And I told myself, you know, I haven't raced. I should race in a long time. So I told myself I can just go and try and run. See how the body responds back after not racing in a long time so I did it and did it open my body because coming back from Atlanta I walked out and workout was feeling much better oh, good. and you know I didn't have track where I was okay. so I didn't walk out on the track for almost a year oh, okay. so that race really helped me open up the body to be ready for the training especially the workouts So we just finished with the run, doing some stretching afterwards. I'll kinda, is this a normal part of your routine? Yeah, I always have some exercise I do 
when I finish, especially looking <laughs> stairs, I always go on the stairs and do like the one for uh, I do exercise for my quads and then just a little bit and then uh, I do leg walking on the toes and then walk on the heels. And then as far as other recovery, do you use like Normatec boots, the Theragun, anything like that? So I, I, I have a, I go to gym, so, and they have like new hydro massage bed and all that. So whenever I feel like I need that, I always go over there and uh, at the fitness planet gym. So I have membership with them. So I always go there and I use their equipment and I get massage mostly at about three times a week. So that helps a lot, especially when when I'm training, so. And and where, what did your mileage peak at for this training block? Uh, about 120. Okay. Have you done any heat training for this block? Uh, no. Like getting in the sun or anything like that? I just did it before Atlanta, Big okay. Tree, and that's the only heat training I did. So. Oh, okay. It was really hot in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I did heat training last year. I was in Europe, so I don't think this we should have worry about the weather. Back in the car now, finished up the run with Alcana. I did about six miles total. He did about 12 and a half miles total. So I only ran with him for a little bit today. I tried to keep up with him, but man, he was really cooking by the end of that run. Uh, I think he was running like 6.15, 6.10s towards the end. So I can only really keep up with him for so long because uh, that's uh, closer to my 5K pace than it is uh, an easy day pace like it was for him. But now, uh, we're heading down the road a little bit further and uh, we're going to get some breakfast. Well, cheers! Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Orange juice. I don't know if this is mango juice or orange juice. Uh, well, it looks like orange juice, but yeah. it could be mango juice. Yeah. So can I ask you, I wear two watches. Can I t ask you why you wear two watches? Uh, so this one is a regular watch. Okay. It never dies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if my coming watch goes off, oh, and then this one stays on the, my hand all the time. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I would wake up and I'm rushing. I get to the trail and I'm, oh, I forgot my watch. Okay. So it, this one is there, so. Okay. It's now, a, now do you keep track of all your data? Are you like? Like, yes, on my, yeah. yes, like yeah. the coming, I have a hub and it downloads everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. use Strava? No. Okay. Garmin. Alright. No, that's not yours. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I was saying that, I was going to think that was, was like, super fast. That was the quickest thing. Yeah. Um, Sorry okay. about the cuts. <laughs> that's okay. I was like, you know that's the fastest. You're not actually at work yet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was pretty quick, huh? Yeah, that was super fast. That was a record. <laughs> um, do you have a, do you have a coach, Alcana, or are you self coached? Um, I have a so basically, I I have, I, I mean there's a lot of friends I talk to. Okay. So, but very much I I like consistency, so I keep doing the same thing up the same things I've been doing. So there's okay. nothing new I'm doing. It's just like the same things I've done like since 2017. Okay. It's just like doing it and doing it again. Okay. Yeah, and, but I do have uh, like Sean Ryan. Uh, he helps me sometimes. Yeah. He comes and Franklin Tonui. He helps me too in my long run sometimes. If Sean is not there, he would give me fluids. Okay. And on Tuesdays, I go to the track. There's a lot of people on the track walking yeah. out. So yeah. Aaron Kais can be there on the track. I join them too. So sometimes I walk out on my own. So. Okay. Yeah. 
Right. With the bulk of your runs are probably by yourself? Yeah, most, yeah, my long Especially runs. Especially with your schedule too. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. My long runs, I do, like I've done all of them by myself. Okay. Yeah. And then how does that translate to you from a racing perspective? I find that a lot of people that train by themselves a lot aren't scared to lead a pack if it comes down to that. Yes, and if you watch my, my first marathon when I started the beauty marathon, I wasn't scared to go because I'm used to running by myself. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did in Chicago. Like, I went to the front and I went. I never waited for anyone. Mm -hmm. They catch me at around halfway, but I was still able to run with them. Okay. And I finished like seventh. Okay. Yeah. So that was like really a good experience. Yeah. yeah. Well then, how do you then decide, like if you're in a pack, how do you decide do you like to be the one that decides to push the pace or do you react more to other people? Uh, I always like to react to more people and it depends also like championship is a different race mm -hmm. but I mean like if it's slowing down and they I think they should be like marathons are a little bit different mm -hmm. but the other races I would go like phew, I, I wouldn't okay. wait for anyone like okay. I would just go <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. You're just and gonna keep the pace on. If catches me, it's okay, you know. Yeah, so I always like like I'm the one pushing that. Marathon a little bit. I've learned to be patient. Okay. Yeah, it makes you learn to be patient. Okay. <laughs> it's a long game, so. Yeah. But all the other short races, why wait? Like, yeah. I have nothing to lose. Just go. Okay. Yeah, and that's what happened. In, even in B3, I, I mean, I tried to go. I was like, let me try and see how I start because running a marathon, I don't know if I can have speed like the other people. Mm -hmm. So when uh, I was surprised, I was able to stay with them for a couple, like, fast one mile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they picked up. The first mile on Peachtree is really nice, though. It's downhill a little bit. Yeah. It's very fun. Yes. And then I feel like the rest of the race was uphill. Yeah, it's... <laughs> That race, I've wanted so much to win, but mm -hmm. I've never had time to prepare for it. Yeah. Like, yeah. because every time it comes when I am getting ready for a marathon. I think it's an awkward time in yeah, the year exactly. to really dedicate so yourself to it. So, unless you are running, so especially like if you are racing in July or August, that's like Gentlemen, how's everything close, here? you know? So, there's yeah. no way you're gonna. Yeah. 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 But hopefully, one day, maybe I will be racing in November and then I have enough time to, yeah. Yeah. to get ready for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then as far as like goals, this is your fourth My world Tony. team. Um, you know, what, what are your kind of expectations going into Budapest? Uh, this one, I, I mean, I told myself, you know, this year I'm 40 years old. I think I need to win a medal. Okay. So my goal for this year is medal and run Olympic air standard so I don't have to worry about sure. chasing the standard again. So okay. those are my two goals okay. that I'm going for. And do you think that the course is going to be good enough for yes. trying to run that standard? Yes. I think Cause like, it's you're, a flat course. Because then you're doing two different things kind of at the same time. Running yeah. a championship race mm -hmm. and a fast time yeah. could be yeah, tricky. It's tricky, but if you see what Thailand last year it was mm -hmm. winning time of two or five. It was a fast. It was a very yeah, fast race. So, and it wasn't that flat. There was a couple yeah, of hills. but this one is now more flat. Like, okay, like okay. really flat. I've I just seen the course online on yeah. YouTube. And okay. I mean, I know Europe is that side is more flat, flat. flat. Okay. Yeah, definitely. All right. Yeah. So those are the expectation for. Okay. Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. Now you've been serving in the military for a long time now. Yeah, almost like 11 years. I'm going on to 11 years now. Okay. So next year will be 11, April next okay. year. Okay. Well, thank you for your service. Yeah. Um, are you going to retire as military? Do you 
yeah, have a full military career? I, you know, every time I I meet friends, like when I was in a deployment, I met a gentleman. He's in the reserves, and he was telling me he's done like 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I told him, oh, I'm just like 10 years this year, so next year I will be 11 years. Yeah. And he says, you have no option. <laughs> you have to retire. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you have to finish 20. He says like, don't yeah. cut the shot. Yeah. I mean, I talked to him about the options of going to the reserves now that I've done like 10 years in active duty. Yeah. He says, oh, no, 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 you have to finish. He says, like, don't get the shortcut, just do it. He says, I know you don't like it, but just do it. Yeah, yeah. I, one of my um, my cousins, her husband, mm -hmm. was kind of in a similar situation. Yeah. He wasn't sure, like, if he wanted to stay in for the whole time, but then yeah. he stuck it out. He's glad that he did. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you, everyone wants to get out. We, we keep saying that all the time, but we're still in. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, I'm is, I can, it's a very unique job, yeah. very unique, so, I mean, you get so much opportunities, I've been able to travel, I can tell you, like, the places I've gone to you in Europe, I wouldn't have ever gone to those places, so, and that's true military, I've been to Asia, I mean, I wanted to go to Australia this year, but I wasn't there, I was already in Europe, but oh, yeah. I missed that, I would have gone for the world cross country. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. my goal to do the world cross country so I could get to go to Australia. But hopefully one time I'll get to visit Australia. Okay. Yeah, that was... Well, you know, I was talking with Lindsay yesterday, Lindsay Flanagan. And she did Australia. Well, she was saying, <laughs> since her coach is in Australia, Yeah. she was saying that she might go down to Australia to prepare for the, the marathon trials for Oh, Douglas. yes, because it's summer there. It'll be summer there. It'll be humid. So in case there's a humid yeah. uh, day. Yes. Um, so... I you know, that you, would could, be, you should just have yeah. a, a, a Camp Asics. And for me, there. yeah. And for me, I'm supposed to go to South Carolina in December. Okay. So, oh, okay. so you'll get it, some humidity. It will be well, perfect. Like, mm -hmm. close to Florida, the same time okay. zone, about the same region, the same okay. yeah. climate. Yeah. So that will help me a lot. So. Oh, okay. And okay. Colorado is cold in December anyway, so. It's very cold, There's yeah. no much you can do about it, so. Yeah. You know, I've only been to Colorado in the summertime. Yeah. And then but I mean, like, December's are nice. We don't get, okay. like, snow in December. It's maybe oh, okay. a little bit of January, but yeah. then you don't even have time. January, it's already February, so okay. it's just like... Yeah, but I, I think uh, I'll be in South Carolina in December, so okay. that would be good. Unless I... That's a pretty nice place to be in December. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The weather's really nice there. Yeah. Are you thinking about the marathon trials at all yet, or are you just focusing right now for... Yeah, I'm just focusing now for World Championship, mm -hmm. and then... It's gonna be Florida. <laughs> what, what can you do about it? Yeah. You, know? you need to add some color to that. Oh, okay. That's good. Oh, thank you. Hey, thank anything you. else we're gonna offer you gentlemen here? No, I think we're good. All right, All right. enjoy. Thank you so thank much. You. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, well, the orange juice was the perfect. I don't know if they make it, but okay. that was like the most delicious. <laughs> I was worried first. I thought, that, is that orange juice or something different? Okay. It but, looks delicious. How was the rest of your breakfast? Uh, the breakfast was the best. I had like a California omelet. Okay. And I had some spinach, mushroom. Okay. So that's good. a very good breakfast for me today. Okay. I Great. need to recover. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so you that's got, a good recovery. And then what, you got a big workout tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Um, so today I must like try to eat a lot. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I try to force myself like eat extra, especially okay. when I feel tired. Okay. I try to eat more. So. Okay probably and then the next day I should be more recovered. Okay. Uh, and what's tomorrow's session gonna be? I'm gonna do a fat leg tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. And then what's your taper gonna look like? Is it kind of just like reducing a lot of mileage or how yes. do you approach it? So from so I will be traveling on Monday. Okay. So to St. Moritz. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. So that means I might not run on Thank Tuesday. You so much. So I will have okay. off day, maybe run in the morning before I go. Okay. And the next day maybe if, depending on how depending on how I feel, mm -hmm. I might take like off day completely. Okay. 
So like just first day. Okay. Yeah. And since we're here, like at a restaurant eating, mm -hmm. um, what is your like food plan going to be? Because you're going to be going to Saint Moritz and then going to Budapest, like. Whenever you travel for a race, do you normally kind of eat whatever food's there? Do you bring food with you? What's your approach to that? So I would bring some. So I will read. I went to the store. I bought honey and okay. I bought uh, Milo. Okay. Milo is uh, Hispanic. Okay. And then I bought powder milk. Okay. So I can make breakfast in the morning. Oh, okay. And so uh, Team USA always like. The, the hotel, they always cook really nice food that I like. Okay. So they cook the best. Alright. So but when I get to St. Moritz, uh, I'm going to stay in an apartment. And it's a furnished apartment, so mm -hmm. there's cooking utensils. So okay. I will go, there's a store close okay. by. I'll go to grocery store and buy some, uh, like, things I can cook. Okay. So maybe what I can do, like, take some corn flour. So I can make ugali. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So that's the only thing I'll take. And then there, the rest is vegetables. I'll buy milk. I'll buy okay. some eggs. Okay. Uh, wheat flour. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very much. Okay. Maybe so I could. I can take that. Thank you. Okay, that whenever you're ready. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So those are the the kind of food I will plan. And then okay. Maybe some mushrooms. Because you love mushrooms. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So and it's mostly spinach. So okay. Make sure I get like spinach and avocado and then uh, oranges. Are avocados easy to get in Hungary? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think so. But in Switzerland, uh, I mean, St. Maurice, I think yeah. I should be able to get one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, do you do you speak Hungarian at all? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can speak a little bit of Polish, but okay. just a few stuff. Okay. Okay. Because I was there for most. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I just I was just trying to think of like yeah. trying to go to a grocery store yeah. in like Budapest could be a, a challenge, yeah, I but think, I guess I think they speak English. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Same yeah. thing as I mean, it's like neighboring. Yeah. Or as uh, I think Slovakia is in between Poland and uh, Hungary, Budapest. So it's, it's Slovakia is like very small, very small country, and then Poland is on this side, and then Hungary. So okay. it's like right there. Okay. Yeah. And then um, for nutrition for the race, mm -hmm. um, what are you gonna have in your bottles? Are you gonna have gels? Um, Morten. I've okay. been using Morten. Yeah. I will mix that with water and then I have a gel. Okay. So I've been trying. Martin gels as well? It's, yeah. yeah. So I will have like maybe two of them attached to the bottles. Okay. And then uh, for every if I need it. For every bottle or just a couple? Just a couple. Okay. So, and I will just, I just put it there so that in case I need it, yeah. if I feel like I need it. Okay. Because if you eat a breakfast, I mean, and then you have drinks throughout, you should be. Okay. Much good, but yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, I think that's all the questions I have for you. Thanks so much for yeah. spending time with me Thank today you. and bring me to this great breakfast spot. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Thank you for the breakfast, for the time, you yeah. know. All right. Well, uh, safe travels, and I'll see you in Budapest. See you in Budapest. Thank all you. Right. All right.